What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 3 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode... <laughs> last episode, Jesse ended up doing the opposite of what he was told and tried to put the body in his bathtub to try and like decompose, get rid of it and shit. And that resulted in the body and everything falling through the ceiling. And now... It's all over his house. So I know they have to clean that shit up. But I think that was so fucking hilarious. Especially because it was Jesse's fault. <laughs> but Jesse is that type of character. So but I, I just want to hop into the episode because I just want to see more of what they do. So let's hop into the episode. Is that supposed to be a floor? That was a really cool angle shot. Okay. But that's still disgusting. Oh, oh, four percent. What? You can't have hemoglobin without iron. Apparently it doesn't. He looks so young in this. Uh, sodium. Eight, eight, zero, four, two percent. We are point one 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 nine. It's even leaking down to there. God damn. Not like it's any of your business, though. <laughs> Just be quick about it. Oh, and um, please don't say yo. You can't know how much I hate that. You were just saying yo last episode, so don't say shit. You missed a spot right, right there. Should you be up on that ladder? You know, you're more than welcome to take over from me. Yeah, why is she not doing yeah. shit? Yeah. Smoked your fair share of pot in college, didn't you? I mean, you at least tried. I swear, if she says no. no. Or is she just not gonna answer at all? I, do you remember it having an effect on your mood? Like, changing it in any major way? Or it made me more serious. Really? I thought it would like lighten you up a little bit, you know? Um, you know, it's just a character thing. <laughs> I'm stuck on. Never mind. Walter Jr.'s on pot. What? How the fuck did you get No. How'd you get that? What would make you even Where's he getting it from? Marie. Seriously. Is it but I mean, Swiss maybe it's not person? Walter Jr., but what are you gonna do? Walter. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Are you about to do drugs right now? You just cleaned up a whole house that had blood, bones, and shit everywhere. Maybe that's why you need it. Has there always been a toilet right there? I didn't think there was. I wouldn't do this to my worst enemy. <coughs> this is degrading. Well, I mean, it could be much worse. Like, if you really think about it. Make it easy and you just drop dead, don't you? One time you thought about carbon dioxide, but making grape soda in class. Yeah. Your son was retarded. Or a wheelchair or something. Don't fucking say that about Walter Jr. But it's like, Jesse can't keep his pie hole shut, like... What the hell, man? What are you doing, man? Imagine if he was actually taking a shit. Oh. 
Oh, he actually saved that shit. <coughs> did Jesse just not see any of that? Or did he just not care because he wanted the drugs? Met and care because he wanted the drugs? And let me tell you something else. We flipped a coin, okay? You and me. You and me. I don't think coin he cared about the insane. coin flip. Sorry, baby. I'm uh, kind of busy here. What's up? Well, kind of a lot, actually. And it's a delicate subject, so I need you to focus. Is she about to tell him that Walter Jr. is smoking pot, even though he isn't? Walter Jr. Yeah, what about him? Marijuana. He's smoking it. She is such a snitch. That's why you don't say shit. Like, even though it's not even true, don't trust her with anything, bro. Like, you know, tell him some horror stories. Maybe show him some autopsy pictures. Autopsy of a pot overdose? Come on. That's kind of brutal. Especially for the fact that he didn't even do it. She stole. I'm surprised she even did that. She seems so stuck up about everything else. This look like a nice place? No, not really. Would you like to live here? Mm, no. Sure about that? Yeah. Oh my god. Leave Walter alone. Yeah, yeah. Well, that gateway drug was marijuana. Every time. Understand? Um, yeah. So, why are you telling me this? It's so uncalled for. But I mean, he does mean well, so. Hey, I ain't holding, okay? I say you can open your mouth and hands off the car. Other side. Go around the other side. Talk to my friend here. Um, why? What's your name, sweetheart? Hey, I ain't doing him. He's a kid. Jesus, was that my question? Don't think so hard, it's gonna hurt your brain. Now you're on the pipe, you're on That's kind of mean. Nothing, neither. Yeah, yeah, just show us your teeth. You smoke pot? Why, you got some? No, oh, right, clip it. Get lost, get out of here. A hey, fair warning, next time I'm gonna bust ya. I'm sorry, but it's like you pried in her life for no reason. Well, I guess a reason, but it's like it's none of your business, so it's like... Shut the door, lock it, lock it, lock it. Who the hell was that? Jesse's there. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you know, murder is wrong, but also so is selling drugs. Honestly, I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> and he's doing it all on the toilet. Okay. Sky, you there? You're at the car wash. Yeah. Is she at the car wash? I seriously doubt that. Since you quit two weeks ago. Damn. I called. <laughs> He's actually being considerate and cutting off the damn crust. Wow. Well, the one time he was nice. It actually didn't go to plan, because now you can't get your sandwich. Ugh. How long was I out? 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> Not too long, but... I've got lung cancer. 
That's the first person he told, and it's someone that he's supposed to kill. It's safe. There's no poison. <laughs> So, that name, Crazy Eight. Do we really have to call you that? He's really gonna ask about the name. Don't you have a real name? So, Domingo, you from around town here or someplace else? See, you trying to get to know him is not. I was just gonna say something like that. You're not making it easier just by trying to get to know him. I guess I'd start off by promising that if you let me go, I won't come after you. That you'd be safe. I guess I'd say what happened between us. That wouldn't be true, though. What's best for both parties is we forget all about it. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm from here in town. So, he's really trying to get this man to try and convince him not to kill him. What kind of dude is he, like? Braino. Just sing this short refrain -o. Our furniture is way... Oh my god. <laughs> Although he wasn't anywhere near as friendly in real life. Yeah, no shit. Hey, did he uh, try sending you that extended warranty? <laughs> yeah, I probably did. <laughs> and I was probably good enough to buy it. Yeah, that was his big thing. Yeah. Just you know you got cancer? No. No one but you. I want to leave money for your family. Hell, I mean, I'll write you a check right now if you let me go. <laughs> Don't buy into it. I mean, y'all do seem to be bonding, but like. You get the key. You're really letting him go. I really hope he doesn't try and kill you. But I mean, you've been nice enough to him, but you also locked him up. Why are you trying to put it back together? Wait, does he have a shard or something? Did he leave it down there? What if he kills himself? I don't know, or maybe hurts him? I don't know. Is he gonna go back down to a dead body after he just got to know the dude? Thing, Walter. Yeah. He's gonna try and kill you with that shard. You wanna angry? Uh, live and let live. He's ready sure. to shank you. Unlock me, Walter. I swear, Walter, if you do that, you're retarded. So he's gonna end up killing him anyway. Oh, 
Um, that seems awfully clean. How did he do everything so quickly though? Cause like, it's morning. Like... Fire there coulda, coulda started by accident. I like it was meant to destroy evidence. Got a couple of dually tracks headed away towards the road. How did they randomly uh, find the place? The you know what I'm thinking, Gummy. Yeah, somebody croaked our snitch. Hey, agent! You got something? Their snitch. What you doing, Walter? There's something I have to tell you. Are you kidding me? So it's gonna freaking end with that? You're trash. No. That is some BS. I just wanna know if he's actually gonna like tell her though because part of the plan was not to tell her because then you know more people you know well the more people that know and who her sister is it's like if she ever found out like look what fucking happened she thought that walter jr was doing marijuana she told her husband and then he did that whole thing for walter jr and he didn't even need it because walter jr wasn't even doing anything her sister's a snitch, and I don't like her. Like, she might have some moments where she's okay, but mostly, I don't like her that much. She, she does too much. But, I'm like, I'm kind of surprised that they already found, like, where the RV thing used to be. But then again, there's, like, the car right there, so it, like, kind of gave them a clue. But, now Walter's like brother-in-law or whatever is going after him and he doesn't even know it so it's like right under his nose and it is so weird like the fact that that kind of thing would even be happening but it's like you know what I just thought of maybe he's not gonna tell her about the drug thing I feel like he's probably gonna tell her about the lung cancer I don't know why the first thing that came to my head was that he was going to tell her about the drugs. But he might just tell her about the fucking lung cancer. I should have thought of that way before. They seem to like not be in a good place right now because of like how it is. Because he's acting so suspicious but it's like he has to. And he's just not doing that good of a job at lying because she goes to check to see well she didn't really well yeah she did check she was the one that called the uh, car wash place so she did try to check where he was but his plan failed out because he doesn't work at the car wash anymore he didn't he quit like in episode one i'm pretty sure he did which is why he got the drug shit with jesse and I feel so bad for Walter, like, in a way, like, he kind of did it to himself with, like, the dude, because he was the one that went downstairs and tried to get to know him, you know, and he was going to let him go, and then he had to kill him, and now it's going to haunt him for the rest of his life. Maybe it'll get a little easier to deal with, I don't know, but it's like, he's going through some shit right now. Especially because he had to do that. I don't know. I'm just ready to see what happens between him and Skylar in episode 4. So I guess come back for episode 4. 